Let's now have a look at the electric field created by an infinite charged wire. We're not going to do any derivation here. Okay, we're just going to state what the electric field is. But if you want to see the derivation, it's in the next chapter when we do Gauss's Law, at which point we go through the entire problem again and we derive the expression that we're going to write down now. So, let's take an infinite wire, or let's at least consider a piece of it, and let's say that is positively charged. The problem is, what's the charge? Because the wire is infinite, so it's hard to quantify. Well, what we do is we define lambda, which is a linear charge density, and that is charge per length. Still seems weird because it's an infinite wire, so what length are we talking about? Well, we're talking about, say, this length. In other words, let's say that this is 3 coulomb per meter. Right? Incidentally, the units, of course, are coulomb per meter. Let's say we have 3 coulomb per meter. Right? It means take a meter of wire, you get 3 coulomb. Okay? Now, that makes sense, and just accept that the wire is really, really long. So we use lambda. Now, that's for the charge. And let's say it's positive, so we expect the electric field created by the wire to radiate out. And we've mentioned previously that because of symmetry, because any plane containing the wire is a plane of symmetry of the charge distribution, well, the electric field at any given point in space is going to point away from the wire. That's because lambda is assumed positive and is going to be perpendicular to the wire. If it makes it easier to think of it this way, or to view it this way, say you look down the wire, well the electric field created by the wire is radial. All right. Now the difference with a point charge, because this really looks like a point charge, careful, this is within a given plane. If you're looking down the wire, there is no electric field coming at you, right? It points straight out away from the wire perpendicularly. And the expression for E is E equal to lambda over 2 pi epsilon naught r in the r hat direction. Assuming, of course, that this distance is r, and remember that r hat is the unit vector that is going to be pointing away like this and perpendicular to the wire. So it's the same r hat than the one we defined when we had a point charge. Right? But okay, be very careful. This looks like a point charge if you look down the wire, but there's no electric field coming at you. It's this electric field created by this wire is all in the plane of the board here. Okay? So this is what you get for an infinite wire. And once again, we'll do the derivation when we do Gauss's Law. But for now, you can use this as is. Just remember that lambda is Q over L if you need it. And you can use this in problems to have the electric field created by an infinite wire and find electric force or things like that.